Hey what's up guys and welcome to this new tutorial where I'm going to show you how to make a takeoff bass lane with a really good free max for live plugin which is called sting 2022 so before starting with this tutorial i would like to remind you that all of the samples used are from our pack rapture volume 2 which is a minimal deep tech collection of one shots loops midis and much more and you can check it out from the link in the description below so first of all let's start by listening to what we have So as you can hear it's a really basic groove made with the kick drum, a couple of top loops and a couple of percussion loops and here we have this MIDI channel where we're gonna load the Sting. So this is basically a max for live MIDI effect so we need the actual sample to make it work and to do that we're gonna go into instrument load the instrument track then we're gonna go into rapture and in the drum one shots we have our key collection we are gonna copy it all and drag it into the instrument track so as you can see we have all the kick loaded and basically this is what the sting 22 is doing So basically it automatically creates some kind of bass line patterns and in this case we have loaded our kick drums because these are the samples that have the most low end information but you can do it with whatever sample you want. So now that we have uh, the kick drums and the uh, sting we are gonna do some processing to make it sound better starting with an equalizer. and also a utility to make sure that everything is in mono. Adding a bit of saturation as well with the drum bass. On the sting, as you've probably seen before, by just clicking on the face, it will generate a new pattern. So we're gonna try a few ones and see if there is something that we like. Adding some sidechain, so the LFO tool. and a bit of compression as well as you can hear we have a lot of peaks because of the different samples that we have so we're gonna do a really heavy kind of compression We're also gonna decrease the gain a bit here on the utility to make sure that it doesn't clip before entering all the processing. So now that we have all the processing in, we are just gonna play a bit with the sting and see what patterns it gives us. As you can see, you can change the swing, the rate, the gate level, you can select the root key and change the offset. Also from this free knob, you can change the length, the density and the type.
maybe a bit more saturation. So yeah, and from here you can uh, really do whatever you like with this MIDI effect. So that's all for this quick tutorial. Don't forget to check out Rapture Volume 2 from the link in the description below. Also let us know what tutorials would you like to see next and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!